G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Sean and today we're taking a look at a $35 wireless RGB uh, gaming mouse, which is um, something that you guys have been actually asking me to check out on the channel. So that's exactly what I'm doing. If you guys like this kind of content and you enjoyed the video, chuck it a like, get subscribed. Um, you guys love the Kmart content, so I'll probably be doing more of it. And uh, let's begin. All right, so the Kmart Wireless Gaming Mouse, it's part of the Anko range. It is $35. As you can see on the box here, it comes with a USB receiver for connecting your mouse. And then it's obviously got the RGB underglow, RGB on the wheel, and there's a little logo there on the back. Um, a one meter cable included for recharging it, rechargeable battery, up to 10,000 DPI, which is great. So if you're someone who's um, wanting to really crank those DPI settings, so that way you can basically move your mouse a very, very small amount, but actually move the cursor a long way on the screen. That's basically what that's going to allow you to do. I'm more interested to know how actually, how low it goes, because that's more important for things like FPS gaming, where you want to be really, really accurate. Um, 10 hours of playtime per charge, nine lighting, effect, nine lighting effects, ergonomic design, um, and that's pretty much it. That's the box for the Anko stuff. $35 might seem really cheap, but as we already know, Kmart actually has managed to you know, pack a ton of tech or get the manufacturer to pack a lot of tech in for that price point. And because they're probably getting hundreds of thousands of products for all of their stores nationwide, um, is probably why the price is so low. You know, if this was, you know, a run of a thousand mice maybe or five thousand the price might be much higher but i think because of their buying power is maybe the reason why the price is so low now i've already gone ahead and done the unboxing um so here's the mouse um really really nice mouse it's actually a matte plastic all over which i'm a big big fan of there's no grooves there's no cutouts there's no honeycomb shell there's no emphasis like they haven't mentioned on the box here anything about trying to make it lightweight it is all about just being a wireless, good gaming mouse with some RGB to um, go with the rest of their RGB products that they sell. Um, in terms of like the design, you've basically got a left and right, or sorry, forward and back button on the left hand side of the mouse. You've got your left and right click. Um, I imagine this would be like a DPI sensitivity button or maybe an RGB profile button. You've got your scroll wheel, which also has a middle click there as well. And then on the bottom here, you've got some of the specs. So 2.4 gigahertz wireless, rechargeable gaming mouse, um, 5 volt, 250 milliamp, um, off, eco, and on. So that's actually interesting to see. It's got three modes here in terms of like, you know, what kind of setting you can have it on. Maybe eco just basically turns off the RGB. I don't know. We'll have to find that out. Um, in terms of RGB, you've got that RGB sort of effect, or sorry, the RGB is going to show up through this sort of um, cutout area on the back of the mouse, which is actually tapered off a little bit, you can see there. And then one thing I really liked about this mouse is that you've actually got USB-C on a mouse that's only $35 to recharge with. So that is bloody awesome. If I could swear, I would, but to see that someone like Kmart has managed to get all of this including USB-C for $35 means that other companies can definitely do it that charge a lot, lot, lot more than this. Um, and then you've got some, you know, little skates here on the bottom, but it's not a ambidextrous mouse. I hope that's the right word. It means that basically it's made for the right-handed user. If you're a left-handed person, it just doesn't feel right at all. So if you're a left-handed mouse person, um, you might have to look elsewhere. But in terms of the mouse, you know, it slides pretty well on this mouse pad. Um, it doesn't, like it's got a little bit of, I don't know, like once you let go, it's got a little bit of slide, but not too much. It's not super slippery, but it's gonna do the job. And actually it fits, like I've got a medium sized hand, some would say, and it feels actually really, really good. Um, for comparison, here is a Logitech G Pro, right? Which is a little bit more, like it's a same profile on both sides. So you could use it if you're left or right handed. Um, both of these mouse so feel really, really good. If we turn it sort of side on, you can see that I think the Kmart one is slightly thicker. Um, sorry, not slightly, definitely thicker. Um, so that might be an issue for some of you who are more of a, a gripper, more than like, not gripper, a, 
oh yeah, they've got palm and you've got grip. So if you're a palm person like me, you're fine. But if you're a grip person, um, maybe the height will be a bit of an issue. But considering that, you know, $150 G Pro, um, micro USB, $35 Kmart mouse, USB-C, I don't know. I feel like that's a win for Kmart. If you turn on the little RGB, you can see here that you've got, I don't know if the actual RGB is going to light up. It's actually probably wanting to be paired or something. Um, but yeah, the RGB is going to show up through the bottom here. It's probably hard to see on camera right now. Might have to get some B-roll of this later. Um, but yeah, pretty nice little mouse. Let's get it on the scale zone and see how much it weighs. So turn on the scales. We'll do a benchmark first. So we'll do the G Pro, which I think is about 70 grams. What's that say? 78 grams for the G Pro. Take that off one more time. So 78 grams for the G Pro. And then for the Kmart, we've got 100 grams. Okay, so that's what, 22 grams different. Do that one more time. 101, so yeah, 100 grams versus 78 grams. So it's a little bit heavier. So if you're wanting a really lightweight mouse, um, you know, this is still very, very light, but you know, 100 grams, you can definitely get lighter than that. So what else comes included? Um, like I said, you've already got that little USB dongle here, and then you've got your, you know, your pretty plain Jane um, one meter USB cable. So just USB-A for plugging into your computer or to your wall outlet to charge it. And then you've got USB-C here. So that basically just goes, you know, into the front of the mouse and that's that. So what we'll do now is we'll cut here. We'll jump into the gaming streaming setup. We'll actually launch the software because there is some software that you can install on your PC to get better control over the mouse and the RGB and the DPI sensitivity and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll you know, launch some games and see how it actually performs and actually see if that sensor is any good. Um, but if it's as good as what I think it is in terms of its build quality um, and its features, I think it's actually gonna be a really solid mouse. So let's cut here, jump in the gaming setup and let's see how this guy goes. All right, guys, so we're here at the gaming and streaming setup, and as you can probably tell, it's been a little while since we did that initial unboxing and first impressions, and the main reason why is I just wanted to get some proper time with this mouse to actually play some games, which is actually what I'm doing right now. We're playing a little bit of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, just, you know, shoot the ship, just running around a little bit, um, but I wanted to be able to sort of just play a game, and you guys can actually see the mouse moving around and behaving and all that kind of stuff um, while I talk about what I've found and whether or not you should actually go out and get this $35 mouse from Kmart. Um, first things first, the USB receiver. I found that having the receiver in the back of my computer, um, the mouse is quite far away and there's a few things that, like my monitors for example, that are blocking the line of sight. Um, I felt like the mouse was occasionally just dropping the connection and so what I needed to do to fix that is just actually run a USB extension from the back of the computer to basically under my monitor um, so that way the receiver to the mouse is only probably about a 30 centimeter um, I guess distance and basically from from doing that making that change all of my sort of connection issues have been fixed obviously um, you know your mileage your mileage may vary it may be better in your situation uh, particular situation in your scenario but that's something that I definitely encountered that's pretty much the only like I guess negative that I would have to say if it's even a negative it's more of a scientific issue um, you know wireless signals traveling um, between you know the mouse and the receiver can't really do much you know beyond just move where the receiver is right um, it's not necessarily a fault of the product other than that though, in terms of like the mouse tracking, um, registering clicks and all that kind of stuff, as soon as I made that change, the mouse was basically performing as good as, you know, some of the more expensive mice that I've tested. And for $35, I'd definitely be recommending someone to go out and get this mouse if they're wanting something that is wireless, really accurate, feels nice and solid in the hand. Um, like it's not a cheap mouse and it doesn't, you know, like squish and, and feel feel flimsy. It's it's well weighted and balanced and everything else. Um, and so for $35, honestly, you can't really complain too much. Battery life was really solid. Like I was playing with this uh, mouse for probably about an hour and a half each night for about a week, um, as well as just, you know, daily driving it when I was, you know, doing my normal work. And, um, you know, the mouse was, was keeping up absolutely no problems at all. I only have recharged it once since getting it out of the box and it took about half an hour to recharge and that was it. So battery life, sensor, all really, really good. Um, mouse clicks feel really solid. 
you do get some software to go ahead and you know customize the DPI as well as the RGB if you want to do that um, so yeah for $35 it's actually been a really good mouse for me going from a G Pro which is 20 grams lighter and a little bit thinner has been a bit of an adjustment so if you're used to like super lightweight um, mice which you can claw um, then maybe this one wouldn't be for you but if you've got a mouse that is a similar weight like this is 100 grams this mouse is going to do you absolutely um, it's not going to be an issue at all like if you just really want to eliminate the cable and you want to see what a wireless mouse is like and can be like um, then definitely you know if you can pick it up at Kmart depending on you know stock and availability and all that kind of stuff definitely consider picking it up so that's all I have to say. Um, I hope you guys liked this kind of content, this video. I know you guys have loved the Kmart stuff recently. So chuck it a like if you enjoyed the video. Get subscribed if you want to see more. Come and chat with me on Discord. And I'm live every Friday night on YouTube. So I'm going to get back to gaming and um, finishing, off the rest of my finishing off the rest of my night. Stuffed up the last bit of the video. But yeah, thanks again for watching, guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.